Hannah Bueller learning new details tonight. She joins us live in studio. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Jeff and Ashley. The family is relieved that the settlement has been reached, but of course nothing can bring back their son, Nolan Birch. But now a bit of closure after a three year battle. Richard actually makes a video of Nolan while he's passed out, you know, basically proud of his work. Nolan Birch was only 18. The Canisius High School grad in his first few months of college at West Virginia University was pledging to join the Kappa Sigma fraternity. But a night of underage partying and initiation turned deadly. The big brother gives the little brother a bottle of vodka that he's supposed to drink, and then the big is supposed to take care of the little. In this case, Richard Schwartz got a bottle of Evan Williams whiskey for Nolan. Nolan drank it in the period of 90 minutes, went from completely sober to unconscious. The Birch's attorneys say Richard Schwartz, also an Amherst native, and other frat members dragged Nolan's body to a nearby room and left him on a table. They say surveillance video shows the students kicking and poking at the passed out Birch before they left him to die. He had drank so much alcohol in such a short period of time that his um, body was shutting down. After three long years of waiting, finally some closure for the Birch family. A settlement was reached and payouts were made by the five contributors, including Schwartz and West Virginia University. But the Birch family isn't done. They continue to work to prevent hazing by teaching kids the dangers of peer pressure. Fraternities and universities across this country need to get the message that you have to prevent this pressured drinking situation. And this is the Nolan Birch Foundation that the family has set up. They talk to high school students and college students about the dangers of hazing and they share Nolan's story. We're live in the studio tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank